thought I'd give you an update on my gasifier. Uh, it's a has a stainless steel body and a four inch burn tube going down through. Down here, I have a lawnmower engine that turns an alternator producing 12 volts and I will have that hooked up uh, to the battery bank over there when I actually run it. There's a wood chipper based on Flash 001 USA uh, his YouTube videos which are outstanding. Uh, he gave some good information on having a radiator so I put a an additional pipe going up and then I have these radiator tubes and they're actually uh, chain link fence posts that go into a two inch diameter uh, PVC fittings I'm just holding it up with uh, some chains right there Run across the bottom. I'm going to have a, a little drain port there. I need to put a, a collection jar at the bottom. After about an hour burn, I only had like about a teaspoon in there, so there's plenty of room. Uh, most all of the water is taken out by the cyclone filters. Uh, here's my fan. The fan is mounted onto two uh, number 10 size cans. And in the lower can, I filled it up with um, wood pellets. And that kind of filters out some of the tars um, to keep my fan from gumming up. And it also collects a lot of moisture too, but mainly I'm after the tars. Uh, it has to be, the only drawback with having the wood pellets as filter medium is that when they, um, collect the water they swell up and they come apart somewhat but then they kind of get impacted so that the air can't pass through so last night what I had to do is I, I couldn't get them to go through the filter that I have here so I had to take the filter off take all the wood pellets out uh, I put back in the, the medium that I had filter medium which is a lot of scrub pads um, the stainless steel scrub pads and also some copper ones that I got at the dollar store and here is the port for going over to the engine and this um, port here, this standpipe is where I'll move the fan uh, motor I'll take it off of where it's uh, just sitting on with that coupler and I'll move it over here and I'll put a cap on the other one. But I put a, a scrub pad, a stainless steel one, down inside the tube because I did um, have some air leaks and uh, when I went to light it, um, it lit well while the motor was up, but when I started reducing the speed of the motor, I had a flashback to go into the system. And that kind of scares you. So I put um, that scrub pad inside there uh, as a an arrester a flashback arrester and it works really well uh, this is actually another scrub pad that I have so this is this is what I have inside of the tube here and the air can flow through real well um, but it does keep the flame from flashing back Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a startup on it. Well, it looks like the smoke uh, and water vapors are no longer um, significantly present in the wood gas. It's a uh, bluish orange and uh, I think it's ready to start going through the filter. Now going through the filter 
And that light's real easy. <laughs>